All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So another update dropped today for Undisputed. I've just recently checked and I've just noticed there's been another update. So it's the 17th of April, 2023. Uh, game update. Uh, hey, fight fans. This update brings four exciting new fighters, a new venue and some key changes to gameplay, AI and fighter ratings. As we shared in our most recent roundtable video on the Undisputed YouTube channel, the next few updates will focus on several key areas of community feedback. Before we get into the full details of the latest releases, some de here are some details on a few areas we are continuing to focus on over the next couple of updates. Body uppercut spam. Players online are repeatedly uh, are able to repeatedly use the body uppercut without much consequence, leading to unbalanced fights. We are cu currently testing two solutions internally: a change to the body uppercut target. Ooh, I don't know about that. Ugh, that that could bleed over into single player, but. I know a lot of people only care about online, but I actually like the, to fight the AI, so that could what, what affects one might affect the other. I'm guessing a change to body up, uh, a change to the body up target, and a change to body blocking uh, that we hope to ship in the next game update. Okay, so it's not actually out yet. They're just saying they're going to do it down the line. I hope this doesn't fuck up other things because it was shit when the game first launched on early access and then they cleaned it up a bit but it became too effective just reduce the fucking damage on the body uppercut that's all you gotta do people won't fucking use them as much uh, online stability we're continuing to continue to work to improve online stability and i want to ensure we get it right because we know how frustrating it can be to play to play with desync or to be disconnected from a fight improving this is a big task which requires a lot of work and testing and our investigations point to any improvement being a few updates away. Uh, to that end, we're also adding additional resources to our online team, as well as engaging third-party third, third, third party experts to help us get the best long-term solution for online play. Uh, cheating. We know that running into cheaters online is frustrating, and we want to make sure you know that the cheaters will never be welcome and undisputed. We're working hard to address the issue, and we have a plan in place, but it's taken longer than we'd like. Uh, we'll implement a third-party anti-cheat to ensure cheaters are properly routed routed out from online play. This unfortunately requires us to rework some of our back-end systems before we can implement, implement the anti-cheat, which means the solution is still multiple updates away, so this is nowhere near. I don't think this is ever going to be solved. I've said it in a previous video, you can put all this safeguarding in place, but they'll find a way around it. They always do. That's, that's what they do. Uh, below are the patched notes for the update shipped on the 17th of April 2023. So we've got new fighters, uh, Vasily Lomachenko added to the game with his own unique movements, swift footwork and signature directional punches. Lomachenko joins the featherweight and lightweight divisions, check out his roster profile. Amir Khan added to the game, Khan joins the lightweight, welterweight and middleweight classes, check out his roster in the profile. Floyd Patterson added to the game, introduces the peekaboo style to Undisputed. Uh, Patterson joins the heavyweight division and Daniel Jacobs added to the game, Jacobs joins the middleweight division. Uh, venues, we've also added a brand new uh, brand new venue to the game. Welcome to the Kiritsu Arena, a beautiful Japanese-inspired pentagonal-shaped venue. So this is all going to be for all the weebs, uh, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> Kiritsu means discipline. So to be sure to show off your ring control and boxing mastery when you step between the ropes. Yeah, fucking whatever. Not in this fucking game. Fucking in ring control. What are you talking about? Gameplay changes. We've changed the damage slash health system from six individual damage zones into one overall head and one overall body zone. Okay, so they did say that they were going to do this. So it's, this has actually come with this update. Uh, we hope this alongside the below days threshold change. Did I read that right? Alongside the below days. Oh, I see. It's going to mention it below. The below days threshold change encourages players to mix up their fight styles, which should lead to a better quality of matches online. Uh, we changed the damage thresholds to use to calculate Day's chance. Fighters are now more likely to hit their opponents into Dazed by mixing up punches and landing combinations. Shouldn't that have that how it has been from the beginning? Isn't that what fucking boxing games generally about? Mixing it up and landing combos? Rather than focus on the same punch repeatedly? Yeah, like why wasn't why was why was this not a thing to begin with? Fucking dickheads. This does not impact the chance of landing a flash daze. Fucking hell most realistic boxing game fucking oh, oh we better fucking focus on combination punching because apparently yeah what that's oh god we've reduced the movement speed of fighters 
and a day is making it more achievable for players to be able to cut off the ring and secure a finish when an opponent is hurt. So people have been complaining about this for a while, saying that it's too easy to get away, uh, too easy for the opponent to escape when you've got them hurt. Um, so we'll see if this is either balanced things out or it's it's fucked it up in the other way where you can never escape. Um, you know, all the all the opponents had to do was turn on loose footwork and they'd be able to just fucking get away. But there is actually a sprint function in the game where you can actually sprint towards your opponent to close the distance on them. But maybe we'll, we'll see. This is going to need some testing to see how effective it is or whether it's it's broken it in the other direction. But we'll see. Add to the warning to the U, to the in-fight UI that will show a player if they're close to being dazed and removed the sectional body part UI. So some kind of like warning when you're about to get rocked, I guess. We'll have to see what that looks like. The curve has been reduced across overall stamina slash stamina regeneration, which means the high, the higher rated stamina have a less steep advantage. The ultimate goal here is to make sure we're seeing punch stats that are more in line with what you'd see in a real fight. So not like 900 punches thrown like in this game. <laughs> This game, there's fucking hundreds and hundreds of punches thrown but at the end of the fight totals. This is a first step, and we'll continue to to iterate on this area of balance as we follow your feedback. Yeah, so it wasn't the most fucking realistic boxing game out the gate, was it? So you've had to adjust it, fucking egomaniacs. General updates. The post-fight results will, will now also show both fighters remain in health and stamina that they had at the time of the fight ended. Uh, we hope this is helpful for players to understand and improve the way they're fighting, but also to be able to give us more informed feedback, informed feedback around stamina and damage balancing. Oh, an AI update. So f for people like me who like doing the single player and are looking forward to doing the career, this is for what I'm focusing on. AI update. Overhauled our AI system. The, the new system should allow us to control and adjust more elements of the AI's gameplay. With this update, players should see that the AI's improved, improved ring movements punch and stamina management and weave and dodging fucking hell I mean hopefully it's not done it too much because if you play on undisputed difficulty it's like it's like psychic you know what I mean like Spider-Man reflexes you know t uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day Master AI counter ability it can already do that to like to win the fight but hopefully they've not gone overboard with this uh, players can expect to see continued improvements including the more noticeable difference between fight styles like a slugger and a boxer over time. So I would like to see the AI box like an actual boxer instead of throwing like f four or five right hooks to the body in quick succession. That, that's not what a, a real boxer looks like and maybe try and emulate what the actual boxer it's playing as it does in real life, you know what I mean? So rather than standing in the pocket with Ali and throwing like haymakers all, all the time, like you know, skip like float round the ring and be a bit more loose and uh, stay on the outside. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just see if. Well, obviously this is only the first update. It says they're gonna. It says here yeah, there's gonna be lots of work to be done with the AI. So we'd love to hear your feedback and requests. And we've set up a specific chat to focus on AI feedback in the undisputed Discord server. Now I don't use anything like this Discord, so I won't be uh, offering my input. I just do it with my videos. Um, not that they look at content like mine anyway, because it's fucking a lot of it's critique and they don't want to hear that shit. Fighter changes, right, there's a lot of this by the look of it, and rather than sit here all day and read it all out, I'll just scroll down, and for people who care about stats and all that shit, I don't, but you can just pause this at your leisure and just see what all these changes are for each fighter. I'll just scroll to the bottom now. Fixed an issue. Uh, fixed an issue where Sugar Ray Leonard's left arm was getting stuck in unnatural positions between punches. Fixed an issue where the save by the bell rule could cause the game to enter an infinite load screen. Fixed an issue with users being stuck in a load screen after a multiplayer match. Fixed an issue causing the wrong intro to play for some fighters. I have actually seen that happen in the uh, prize fights thing. Like fucking females getting introduced as males 
males getting introduced as females and just the wrong names for the boxes. Fixed an issue with players being unable to connect to one another, uh, being able to connect to another online match after finishing a match. Fixed an issue that could cause players to crash if two players, uh, two u- two users pause during an online match. Fixed an issue with lunging punches not registering against dazed opponents. Fixed an issue with Muhammad Ali's movement looking unnatural. Fixed an issue with Muhammad Ali's clinch. Fixed an issue with Coldwell Jim's day Coldwell Jim's day camera clipping through the ceiling. Fixed an issue with Coldwell Jim's night camera clipping through the ceiling. Fixed an issue regarding headshots being counted incorrectly in totals. Fixed an issue where players would be unable to navigate prize fight leaderboards after accessing the settings menu. Fixed an issue that meant body damage was not being calculated correctly and as a result players would struggle to daze or knock down an opponent with body punches. Okay, this is a this is one I actually I'm interested about. I find it takes forever when you target the body to do any kind of damage to the body. So if you wanted to affect like you you just gotta throw a shitload of body shots to you know to to hurt the opponent to the body and so this is gonna be interesting to see how, how this has been impacted by this. Hopefully it's been it's it's improved. Fixed an issue where players were unable to cut their opponents in quick fights. Fixed an issue with taking a knee resulting in an instant loss. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, fixed an issue when opening the settings menu. Uh, fixed an issue when opening the settings menu during gameplay would cause lighting issues. All right, so there's your update for the 17th of April. So I'm going to be focusing on the AI stuff. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to f- uh, fire the game up and I'm going to test that not only test out one of these new boxes, I'm going to try out this new Weeb Arena as well. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, here we are. So I'm going to jump into a quick fight and uh, I'll probably give Lomachenko a try, see what he's like. I'll, I'll test all of the new fighters in, in their own videos, but I'll just give Low for the first video, I'll just give uh, Lomachenko a go, see what he's like. Oh, 90 for the stats. I'll just flash, it, flash this up for anyone who's... Uh, Who's interested in any of it? You can just pause this at your leisure and have a look. I don't think too much, too hard about the stats. I just could just have a play around with him. We'll go against Crawford, seeing as that he's another 90. So there was another arena added. Let's just see the Weeb, the Weeb uh, Dojo, the Kiritsu Arena. Doesn't look too bad give it a go right let's see if it acts any differently on on the undisputed setting because that was the only difficulty that was sort of like broken in terms of like the ai will just deplete its own stamina like in the first couple of rounds it was way more balanced in the uh, in the other difficulties with with its stamina and punch output but in the harder setting it was a bit a bit uh, skewed so i'll test this one first and then i'll see what it how it performs if I notice any? I'll be able to notice early on within the first couple of rounds if if its stamina has been sorted out or not. I mean, it'll be pretty uh, evident after the first couple of rounds. Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisha, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. So there's that new, not a bad look on Arena. Lomachenko, Ukraine's finest. He's a former world champion in multiple weight classes. Terence Bud Crawford, one of the pound for pound best in the world, fighting out of Nebraska, USA, one of the greatest of all time. Just take note, take note, look at the reach, look how much they're giving away in this fight. Well, that's how it looks on paper, Johnny, but let's see how it plays out. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, presenting the two-time Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, a tremendous two-division champion of the world, Vasily. His models looking decent. I think they all do in this game. It goes without saying all the models with the technology that they use to to photograph the likenesses. So they're all going to look good. I don't think any of them are going to look terrible. Bud Crawford. 
So it's said that he moves and is, he's got unique footwork and unique directional punches. So let's see if we can notice something like that as, as the fight's going on. We'll find out when the first bell goes. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. And that's the opening bell. Well, I'm gonna have to switch him to orthodox. It's like I'm shit at using southpaws. A little bit of a of a weave or uh, like a slip from the AI already there. Doesn't I don't really normally see it doing things like that. I mean it's still throwing a lot of punches already. I can see that stamina just dip down to the halfway point there. He's nice and snappy as as Loma, like the the snappiness to the punches. That, that left hook animation looked a little bit different to what I'm usually seeing, that back step left hook. So let's see if we also when it said about the the body punches having more of an effect now a little little more of an effect rather than having to throw like 700 body shots to to do any damage and also if you can if you notice at the bottom of the screen now there's no sort of health uh, damage popping up for like each of the areas that you can see the block meter there popping up but we're not getting like left body right body left head right head center you know none, none of that's popping up now. So, but we're not actually getting any damage indicators for the, just the head or body now, unless it's going to be only visible mid round. But I mean, it should be it should be visible during the fight as well if you if you've got that part of the UI turned on. So I'm not sure why it's not showing up. But as you can see there, there's way less targeting areas now: head and body, uh, left cuts, right cuts, left swell and right swell, and that's it. Nice and streamlined now. But I feel like we should be seeing it on the screen here just to see how much so you know like what damage you've done with the shot that you've just thrown but I don't know sure if that's deliberate or it's if it's not been added back in or what but so I can't actually see how, how damaging my shot is now like when I'm landing it but I guess you don't need to now you, you just go on head and body I guess so you, you're not needing to see oh I'm damaging I just damaged them to the left side of his head that it's just all consolidated into those two areas now, just head and body. But we'll see as the fight goes on, like whether it's easier to, to you know, getting stuns and uh, day states and things like that. And what else did it say? It said something like a you get like a, a bit of a warning when you're about to get stunned. So maybe that's why it's not there. Like I don't know, because it's like. We're gonna we're gonna let you know when you're about to get stunned, so you don't need to actually see sort of the damage health on screen. I don't know, but we'll we'll see. I feel like it is behaving a little bit differently. The AI, like I'm not getting brutally countered like as much. I think they've toned that down a bit, which is nice. I'm still getting countered, which I don't mind at all, but on undisputed difficulty. Sometimes it'll just take the piss with it, you know what I mean? Still a lot of punches being thrown by the AI. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Let's get it started in round three. Oh, nice pull counter right straight there. 
Oh, wait, nice counter shot from the AI in response to that. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get conscious thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. You don't think they're going to win. They'll move a phone box. Be interesting to see if I get the AI, AI, sorry, if I get the AI in a dazed state, how well it sort of covers up, because it, it sort of covers up a little bit too well on the harder setting, and it tends to like block all of your shots, and you'd have to like deplete its block meter entirely for for your shots to sort of get through. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they were out of speed. Oh, nice counter left up to the body there. And Crawford. He just misses with that big right hand. He threw the hook, didn't land. Oh, beautiful combination. Jab, right uppercut on the left or up top, followed by the right straight. Oh, see the little indicator there at the bottom of the screen? I just noticed that. He's, in, he's took a lot of damage. So it's, I guess that, that's the indicator they're talking about when he's close to getting rocked. Just like a little uh, red triangle with an exclamation mark in it. This is definitely feeling a bit different on this difficulty now, I'm noticing it. As someone who plays on this difficulty quite a lot, I am noticing it feels a little bit different. For the better, I feel. I'm not getting like brutally countered like after almost every shot that I throw. The AI is sort of man managing its stamina a little bit better. It's still got less than I have, but I think at this point, prior to the update, it'd be close to the halfway point now with its stamina. And it's not just like spamming one side, put like a bunch of right hands in a row. So some, I'm noticing some changes. So whatever sliders that they've adjusted, the devs. It seems to have, uh, there's a noticeable, a noticeable change happening, I'm noticing. Oh, good combination by Crawford, look at that. Oh, duck down into that counter left up. They figure out the combination to this sink. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Oh, just stepped into that uppercut there. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there might be more action here. I mean, there's there's tremendous punch out, but Todd, what the fuck are you talking about? Like Todd's very hard to please in this game. It, it's, if you've not heard Todd's commentary before. Like he wants like blood sacrifices to the blood gods. Talk about a one three Constantly, if you're not throwing a million shots per round, he's dis he's disgusted at what he's seeing. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. Oh, big oh, counter right up over the top there from, AI, from the AI. Oh, what a punch! Oh, see that quick slip from the AI there? That was like lightning fast reaction there as he slipped my uppercut. 
Oh, hard right up a cut to the body. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Oh, beautiful combination. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed. I've come close to getting him rocked since that first warning uh, indicator that we see. seen. Oh, I just got cracked with the big shot there. Oh, look at that four punch combination that got through. Oh, beautiful. Oh, a little step in jab to the body and a right straight up top. That was a good sign as well. The AI didn't just stand there and block every shot that I came at it with. Thumbs up so far without the AIs behaving in this update. Definitely a step in the right direction from the devs. It feels, uh, feels a lot better than how it was previously playing. I know it's an early impression, but it's just what I'm experiencing so far. For the, like first in the first match of it. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with speed. Oh, nice combination. Rocked him again. Oh, and a big right hand up top. So I'm trying to chase him down. We've got to look out for that movement speed as well. Uh, I'm having no trouble really closing in on him. That big left up dropped him. Obviously, where, where that information is going to matter the most is online play. You know, trying to get away from each other when you've hurt the other guy. That's going to be uh, more important online, I feel. So it'll be interested to see the online players' feedback when it comes to escaping someone who's closing in on you. Uh, when you've been rocked so it's not going to matter all, all that much when it, when it comes to fighting the AI but, uh, I, I'm enjoying this so far Pemby if you're watching this mate I'd be curious to know what you think going against the AI uh, I know Pemby likes to square off against the hardest setting in this game as well and he's had plenty of experience against the uh, the undisputed AI. Curious to see if you feel any difference, mate. The counters are still there, mate, but they're nowhere near as excessive. It feels like that in this fight, anyway. Oh, look at that combination. Step in, jab. Powered right straight. And a left up follows it. Oh, look at that beautiful uppercut. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their... Oh, stepping up a cut and a right straight. Oh, big left hook. Oh, and the left hook connected again. Much better, like the AI's not just standing there and uh, uh, matrix the path of Neo parrying all his shots and blocking them. I'm actually getting shots in when he's hurt. Oh, hard liver shot there, and a nice, oh, beautiful combination. Right up a cut, left up, and the right straight. Oh, 
Well, that's a step in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. At least I'm talking from a, a single player perspective. Like I'd be happy to play a career mode with the AI in this state. I know it's early days yet, I've only had one fight, but it's a huge difference from what was happening previously before the update. Trying to play on the hardest setting. Huge difference. It feels like a different play in a different game almost. And for the better. So devs, if you're hearing this, whatever you did, it just moving a few sliders or whatever. It felt a lot better to play. That's all I can say on my first my first uh, try of the update. Obviously, I'll, I'll do some other videos with Amir Khan and uh, Floyd Patterson. And I can't remember the other. Daniel someone, I can't remember his name. Daniel son, we're in the Japanese arena. Right, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the rest of the uh, boxer demos and showcases. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.